Hi everybody, this is 3-3 readings and this reading today is going to be for Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. If any part of this video resonates with you, you can check out the extended version of this. It is going to be linked down below in the description box for you to check out. In the extended, we dive deeper into your person's feelings, the outcome of the situation, long term, short term, the advice for you, what's coming in for you for the month, uh, love notes, as well as uh, a divine message towards the end of the reading. So you can check it out if you're interested. It's going to be linked down below. Let's see what are the messages that come up for Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay, so temperance and the five of pentacles. Uh, you could be trying to take a break from somebody, okay? You could be walking away from a situation to regain that balance back into your life. You'll see. Or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius too. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. You're tired. You're tired of something or you... Something has uh, pushed you to a point where you're just tired. You're way too tired. I feel like you want to move on from something. Okay, you want to take control back on a situation. And I also feel like it's hard for you to let go of something. So you're trying to let go of a situation, but it is becoming a little bit burdening on your energy. But at the end of the day, you want to walk away from something or you want to just like have victory and success walking away or finding that balance and control back into your life. Okay, getting it back. Yeah, nine of wands. You're very closed off. Um, you're very closed off to somebody. You are deciding to do your own thing. Let's see very closed off i feel like some somebody made you wait that's also something that i'm getting constantly for you is that somebody probably made you um wait somebody you were expecting for somebody to show up differently than they did that's the energy that i'm getting for you Okay. Um, but right now you're very closed off. You're expecting change. And I do see you breaking free from something. At the end of the day, there's a lot of victory. There's a lot of uh, breaking free from something. That kind of energy. So maybe you'll get over a situation or finally let go. Something of that sort. But I do feel like you're cutting it out. There was somebody who was, who was being um, immature in their behavior. Overall energy for you is the king of swords. What are you doing, Aquarius? I feel like you're cutting somebody out. You're very determined to leave the situation or to just follow your own thing and walk away here, okay? I do see you wanting to walk away. And the reason why you want to walk away is because you're tired. You're tired. You're burdened. And you're cutting people out left and right. You're making logical decisions. And I do feel like you're, you're headed towards something fresh and new. Some of you are opening yourself up to love. Um, it is nice. I do see you headed towards <clears throat> a more free state of mind. Right now, you could be contemplating a lot, thinking a lot. Okay. Let's see. Let's get your person's energy a bit. The hangman, the judgment, and the high priestess. Why are they so silent? The ace of swords. So this person, I feel like um, there's going to be a communication coming through and also looks like somebody's going to be apologizing. So this to me does look like an apology that comes your way after a long time. 
uh, after somebody senses that you've you've outgrown them almost they're very silent could be a pisces that you're dealing with the signs that are here are aries uh, gemini libra scorpio virgo pisces and earth earth we also have earth and gemini aquarius as well so i feel like this person is very silent right now but they're silent because they're trying to make up their mind about you aquarius they're trying to make up their mind about you and they will at the end of the day because they're in love look at all this major arcana here for your person the lovers so there is a lot of love in the equation but i feel like there is lack of um lack of honesty probably in this relationship but i do see them coming in towards you there is a lot of love on their part still i feel like they cannot let you go another major arcana the sun leo energy is here i do see them reaching out to you and i feel like this communication maybe it's gonna come after a long 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 pause or silence i do see some somebody coming in with an apology or with a direct straight communication and it's com something else that i'm getting for you is that this communication is coming after a long period of time okay that's yeah that's something that i'm getting for you communication coming after a long time Let's see yeah page of wands look at that there's a lot of communication coming in for you and I feel like it's going to make you really, really happy. But you might be resistant to it a little bit, but it is going to make you really, really happy. But I feel like it's also going to come by the time when you, you won't be even looking for it or you're still not looking for it. You're trying to get over this person. Okay. Yeah, some of you are focused on your money, your finances, your goals. With that um, Ten of Pentacles, where do I put it? I need to put these a little bit far, so. Hope you can see now. I do see you being focused on your money, your stability. Some of you are saving up to buy a house, making important decisions, okay? There is somebody coming in towards you, Aquarius, uh, with the love offer. Look at that two of cups. Look at that page of wands, the sun, the lovers, the ace of swords. There's so much communication and love here, like a reunion type of energy. Somebody very, very willing to come forward and communicate with you and see you. And that's what you also think is missing, that this person was not putting that effort and work in before, but now they are. Okay. yeah you're burdened in your energy the empress you have to be careful uh aquarius of um letting this burdening energy get to you too much so i know that you're burdened by some energy i know that you're feeling heavy you're you're focused on your growth but don't be so focused on it that you ignore important things along the way okay ace of wands i feel like you're trying to let go of this situation with a lot of force <laughs> like you're very determined to cut it out and to just cut it out um yeah but you have to be careful where is it that you're headed towards there is something somewhere where your mind is constantly taking you but you're not get, going there because you're very determined to cut it out but something there is that you're missing in hints and clues you know For some of you, maybe this person was giving to another situation too and that kind of bothers you. That's why I don't want to focus on it anymore. What is something that Aquarius needs to know and the final outcome? Ten of Cups, there is happiness. And the Tower, oopsie. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Stability, you doing your own thing, right? 
So with the Tower and the Ten of Cups, I do feel like there is somebody coming in towards you, Aquarius, but you have to be careful because <clears throat> I also feel like there is going to be communication coming in your way. Could be a Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that you deal with. Pisces, Gemini, Aries, um, Leo, Scorpio. So I also feel like <clears throat> Aquarius, there's going to be sudden communication that comes your way from somebody that you didn't expect at all. But you viewed the situation as a disaster waiting to happen. That's why you're going to be a little bit resisting to the energy when this person comes along. I do feel like that. You're going to be you're going to be like, hey, I'm focused on my growth. Why are you here? <laughs> Um, but I do, I do think there's a lot of happiness around you and in little things around you, which you may be ignoring at times too, taking things for granted, like time with your family and things like that. So don't be so focused on trying to get over a situation that you overlook little things in life. On the other hand, I do see something coming up for you in the future, possibly communication and a lot of it. And it's going to it's going to come when you least expect it. That's also something that I'm getting for you. The rest we're going to clarify in your extended. How does your person truly feel? What is the long-term, short-term outcome? What is the advice for you? Um, what is the divine message for you? What are the energies for you for the month of August? Rest of it. We're going to see all of that in your extended. I feel like the extended for this one is going to be very exciting because there's a lot of excitement on your person's part to come forward and talk. We're going to see what happens. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Hmm. Children, maybe some of you have a child with this person or you're spending more time with your own children. I don't know, whatever the case might be, making the effort. I do see somebody coming in towards you and making that effort towards you because there are romantic feelings on your part maybe you two have a child together too for some of you okay let's see where are the messages for aquarius where are the messages for aquarius where are the messages for aquarius Don't dim to fit in. How are you doing your light in order to fit in? Mm, maybe some of you are doing that. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. So if you're stuck in a place where you feel like, oh, I don't want to be here. Do something to change your energy. And see where you're dimming your light. Play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. So some of you are damn serious so maybe that this was something that i was getting in your reading is that something you're doing too much of and that you're being maybe too serious about something no don't do that take a oh take a break at the bottom of the deck a life's work not a season get off the treadmill what are you trying to achieve with a fast fast pace are you getting burned out trying to achieve something no don't do that you're going to get tired, Aquarius. Anyway, so those were the messages that popped out for you as of now, Aquarius. Uh, the rest we're going to clarify and extend it. What happens between the two of you in the long run, short run? What is going to be the energy between you two? How do they really, really feel? What is the divine message? What are the love notes? What is the advice? We have a lot in there. So the link to the extended is going to be in the description box. You can have a look if you like. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. This is 3-3 Readings. Take very good care of yourself and bye-bye.